No let him go, no hold him back. My two cents band class with two locks, the 876 treble. Make it fly now. Zine, her two locks are going to use Ronnie advice because I'm still not using it in and her twins of twins are represent for the virtual reading castle. Zine, if you're youth are between the ages of 8 to 12, and we look at reading and them things, they have a hassle. No problem. Virtual reading castle. Big win. I want to say the carrier boy got a virtual reading castle. I tell him I don't like repeat myself, you know. But I'm going to tell you again, I hope they make carry a drink because I don't want him to dance like me and they all about the place that keep up all kind of up The man here, man. Zine, and for the direct link, you can just WhatsApp 876-480-7083. Limited spaces available. So guess what I'm going to do? When I put on the left, I'm going to make the right one. Also brought to you by Rabbit 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except fingerprinting. We also offer the finest and best in embroidery services in the island. Check us out at 876-898-9888 and also to get access to the updated merchandise you can just simply follow us at Rebel 13 Collections on Instagram. Listen up. <laughs> this one is for the youths and the children. Sing again, sing again. I want them again. So didn't I tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm is coming. Lion twin, yo, we want them again. So didn't we tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm. Blessed. Welcome to another episode of my two cents pod class. I'm your host, two locks. The 876 Rebel. Now, if you know me, you wanna know say I'm all for change. Like real change. Like we actually need for do something for the politician them. Start fly right. We not talk private jet to them a fly pan, you know. Fly right. Like do what them said them are gonna do for the people them. Finally. Politicians are work for the people, and the people are work for politicians. It's not the other way around. But you don't know, classic Stockholm syndrome where most Jamaicans have got you. You see two rich people, you don't need that. Because in a year, they're better than you. The same disease that we have from slavery, we still have it up to today. Once you see somebody where you deem better than yourself, you just see them in a whole different light and them care wrong. Now, today, we're going to focus mainly on the colonizers, but the leaders also. Because if the leaders, Keep fucking themselves and finally develop some guts to stand up to the colonizers. Because every year we have Independence Day, one of the most hypocritical holidays on the planet. You cannot celebrate a day that doesn't exist. That doesn't make no sense to me. And what we can't believe is that the people have gotten so weak, they make it look like it's impossible for Jamaica to stand up for itself. They are so adamant in standing up for their so-called leaders that you are standing up for the people and the people curse you. For the leaders, we not stand up for them, not the country. Now, we just have to lead by example. Because a lot of the information out there, a lot of people not see it. When me come talk, it is like it not sound good. So a lot of people actually say to me in the comment section, them, say getting rid of the colonizers cannot be done. Now, which other country in the world should have be a first world country in name Africa? Because of Africa, the entire world get majority of them resources. So yes, Africa should have be a first world country by this. One state in Africa should have can match with any mama blood clad first world country. And they are the top of the food chain. And the wickedest part, a lot of people are going to go on and go on until it's too late for do anything about anything at all. Only thing I joke me, I make? Look which part Jamaica reach. I don't know what you're doing. I'm Jamaica or Rally. 760. One sweet pepper. Hmm? One sweet pepper. And that's one market there, one of the cheapest supermarkets. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hear no outcry. 
Be a rich people in the world. Watch it again if I think I do. Seven hundred and one little song. And the people keep sleeping. It might look like joke, but a serious something. One sweet pepper for seven hundred dollars. One liquor tray like this, seven hundred dollars. You pay almost sixteen hundred dollars for two items. And me not nah doom and gloom, but trust me, if Jamaica continue on that trajectory. We in a trouble, you know? We in a serious trouble. Now, for all of the people, I think Jamaica actually independent. The video I made today is for showing what is independence. But most of our leaders are not only cowards, but they're also pirates. Pirates don't usually pick a side or another. Pirate are just pirate, they're a thief. Thieves don't care which side them depend as long as them get for rob. They don't care for the people. Them, them just not care. Them care about making money. Anything at all where you see them involve themselves in. Just trust me. When I say some sort of opportunistic intent. Them have. And Jamaica don't really have no leader presently. PNP or labor right who truly loves the people. Now, a video like this. We know most people are really interested in her. But because me convicted, I me love my country, I me love my people. I can see the danger, I look over the cliff where Jamaica go drop in her. And no one cares. Me up there, me ring the bell, me blow the alarm, me sound their bang. Me do everything. And everybody and their mama last in them phone. No one is listening to the warning. Nobody not see what Jamaica had. How long will it say as soon five bills here bread? And more than five bills here bread now. But no one cares. All them care about is, oh, we can buy a ticket for go a cartel show. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know. Everybody wants to be a part of history. But majority of who are go can afford it. Literally. And I'm still a go. And if you don't think a lie, check September morning how much people are cost each other. And how the government wicked and how poor people this and how poor people blood clad that but you will spend any money when your priorities are misplaced how long we're gonna remain dormant there's actually no sign of intellectual independence anywhere in jamaica anymore they can hardly see that nobody not think for themselves the people have become congruent with them own oppression now, for all of who always name up themselves, whenever I say, yo, the government needs to stand up to the powers that be and actually be a man so we can actually have a country and make it look impossible because we have that weak mentality today. We don't need to read Willie Lynch, The Making of a Slave. Who don't have that book, they go and read it. All of the great leaders was killed, more than to do the match, by the same people them. What am I try to help? Yes, and we know the bigger devil them they're behind the scenes. But the bigger devil them shouldn't be able to find one person who look like Malcolm X, who look like Martin Luther King. Them shouldn't be able to find one person who look like them. Figure show them. So that video I'm about to play is the president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traole. And that clip here is an African youth. I say talk about it and when I see it, I say, Jano, I have to share that message. When I see this, I just one thing come to my head. For all of who said it impossible, this is how you lead. This continent has suffered so much and continues to suffer because of imperialists. These imperialists have only one cliche in mind. Africa is the empire of slaves. This is how they see Africa. For them, Africans belong to them. Our lands belong to them. Our subsoil belongs to them. They have never been able to change the logic until today. This is deplorable. But how do they proceed? Unfortunately, it is since the 1960s 
that these 6,000 acres of independence have been given to Africa. They have just placed local valets at the head, according to them, of their sub-prefecture to be able to continue to feed them. These local valets, which we are going to call today the slaves of Salon, have other goals. They want to live like the master, to satisfy the master, and to do everything that the master dictates to them. Wem said as a while ago, son, eerily similar to the Jamaican mentality tone. The mouse are carrying around, no time at all. Them neck broke on the JLP and PNP. All on JLP and PNP am. a reap and a rob for years. Can them no bomb buckler. Pay false promise. Them ready for kill you for the master. It does sound eerily similar to no. And their wealth is kept with the master. They do everything to live like the master and always satisfy him. Do you know who these slaves of Salon are? Well, we are going to explain to you what they are. They are individuals who have no dignity, who have no morals, who have no personality. But the master slave has always known how to identify these individuals. They are always ready to betray their brother, to satisfy the master. They have betrayed us since independence, and others continue to betray us to the benefit of their master. These individuals continue, against all odds, to help the master plunder Africa. They like to say it every year. In their economic polls, Burkina is the poorest country, Mali is the poorest country, Niger is the poorest country. We are ranked among the last. Very well, if we are as poor as they say. But when the time has come to take responsibility, we have asked this master to leave the place. Why don't they want to leave? When we take the case of Niger, for more than 40 years, some countries have been exploiting uranium to produce energy at home. From Ottawa to Paris, the streets are illuminated, it is the light. But in Niger, it is the darkness that has served us. When you go to our states, our soils are full of precious metals, such as gold. But often there is not even the slightest road accessible to reach the areas where they exploit gold, even less certain basic social services. This is why we have decided to revolt and take the fate of our countries into our own hands. There are many other examples. But when we decided so, we were approached by some saloon slaves to pass on the message of their master. And we came to break the chain. Because they have an elite formed and formatted that must follow, that is embedded in this chain. We refused to enter their ranks. And then the hostilities began. They have sent several mercenaries and trainers to our area. The agents have descended into the Sahel to carry out barbaric, cowardly attacks against our people, hoping to revolt them. In addition to these attacks on the ground, the attacks on communication, manipulation and disinformation are full in their ranks. But the people of the Sahel have understood, and we will never be able to be manipulated again. They know where they come from, they know what they are doing, and they know where they are going. We will no longer allow this. People are awake, and people are fighting today. Not for ourselves, but for future generations. So the message is not just for Jamaica, for the entire Caribbean. Because trust me, I don't know no white Caribbean island. A majority of the Caribbean island's leaders are some motherfuckers. Them keep the colonial mindset 
according to the video I watch with the youth, I'm telling about the African youth. The man said, when Ibrahim going to power in him, not even the fuckery French national anthem where Burkina Faso did have, the man not keeping him. Now, if this is not all you lead, I do no leadership. Continue. When we revolted on September 30th, 2022, the first thing was to find out who these military councils were and where they were. So we were able to identify that the evil was deep. And the first thing was to ask them to leave our army. They left. And what I told you not long ago, you cannot hope to find your lost object by calling on the one who stole it to come and help you find it. When we asked the military councils to leave, we felt manifestations. We were made to understand that we would not be able to get by without them. And every time they told us, it was translated by attacks on the ground. We received the message well. At the dawn of the year 2023, we decided to tell the foreign forces present here to leave because we want to fight in Burkina Faso. They did not surely appreciate it, but why come and die on our land for us? We prefer to fight ourselves. We ask them to return home. Unfortunately, I tell you here today, as I like to say, colonization has returned. There are slaves of Salon who still have not understood. In the meantime, military officers wrote to us and approached us to tell us that it was a very bad decision and that we would not last two months. Files were written. We were sent these files to make a strategic analysis of their thoughts. We said either we are sovereign or we remain slaves forever. Indeed, when the last soldier left Burkina Faso, we understood what it was about. The attacks followed immediately. Dehao, Timnakov, Partiaga, and so on. But what they had forgotten was that the people of Burkina Faso had understood our message. and had engaged in the same way as we did. We reorganized quickly, and suddenly we noticed that all the sleeping terrorists had woken up in Burkina Faso. We reorganized the army as quickly as possible. At an unequal speed, we have created several units, and even if several others are yet to come, we have equipped them. And today this equipment continues because in the days to come, the months to come, what you will see coming to Burkina Faso must make our army a power to fear. We will not hesitate about the means. We understood that the fight against imperialism will be hard, very hard. But only the hard ones will pass, and the Burkinabes are hard, and we will pass. The man said, acknowledge, so the fight is not easy, you know. It's not hard. But guess what makes it even harder? We are living in a time where people want every fucking thing easy. So the minute you go in a direction, I tell you a Jamaican mindset, because Jamaica me come from. The minute you go in a direction and them face any kind of hardship, Jamaicans don't want to sacrifice anything for change, especially if it's going to affect them social 
pleasures. Them just want party to death. Them just want scroll to death. Tell them anything at all. We have a benefit them life. I don't want to make one sacrifice. Whoever betrays his country for the benefit of imperialism, he will be treated as such. When on June 26, Nigeria decided to take its destiny into its own hands, we were surprised to see the Ikawas appear on June 16th with a force in wait. Where was this force? When thousands and thousands of Nigerians were killed by terrorists, where was this force? When thousands of Malians and Burkinabis died under the bullets of terrorists, they said that by force they were going to house the valiant sons of Nigeria who took the destiny into their own hands. And the armies of the Ikowas have decided to unite. We are waiting for this force in wait. It is important that these so-called Democrats understand this. When thousands of Nigerians die in hospital beds due to lack of electricity or lack of medication, it is a crime. They are responsible for these sanctions. They are responsible for these deaths. When I hear it, yes, when I hear a leader I care about them people, we just have to bring in the party. Are the people, I don't know the man that beat him chest and say, I. That's one of the biggest problems in the world right now. I, me. Me matter. I did this. I am the one. I. And me first did say this. And me first did do that. And me. Self worship. And then them still try to come off as if to say they are dealing with righteousness and they might deal with the people and they might deal with true leadership. No, they are not. A self-love them are but a self-love in a true or authentic way. I know the wrong and selfish way most people are dealing with self-love these days. Everything turned back way. Just notice the difference between how them and Ibrahim address theme people. Ibrahim said our people and our government more wanting to go back and look. Rarely, if ever, say our people, them always say the people. Because psychology never rang yet. Them see themselves separate and apart from the people. When they take their orders from the other side, they come and do everything to apply it. It is shameful. Some have decided not to provide electricity to our countries. It is not free. We pay and it contributes to their economy. They have tried to make Mali suffer. And of course, by ignoring all the texts and not providing electricity to Mali, hoping that the population would revolt. It does not work. When I hear that, when the people see them decide to them, nah, bring electricity over there. I pay it, I pay it fine, and them decide to draw out because they can't control it. You know, a them little tactics that them use for turn your people against you. Based on all these countries, intentional lack of support for them stop you because they can't rule you. Them depend on the people now when suffering reach them to start rebel and try to uproot them leaders. What do you want so well ago? The people now budge. I wish Jamaica would. They did it. They violated the text. The international community did not say a word. I am not a politician and I don't beat around the bush. I am a soldier and I prefer to tell you the truth. Everyone is free to take it or leave it. Everyone drives their car, everyone lives well. We eat in the morning, we eat in the afternoon and evening, and we do whatever we want to do. We are free to speak, to say what we want. This is democracy, this is the law, that's all. That's all we know in Ouagadougou. But go and see them, the children who are skin and bones.
Go see those who are starving. Go see those women who can no longer breastfeed because they have nothing left in their breasts. Go see them. Let's not pretend. If our journalists don't have the courage to go out in the field and bring back these images, it's because we want to whitewash Burkina's image. I'm telling you, it's false. It exists. When I tell you about people who eat grass, those who want to contest, I will take them to see it continues. It hasn't even stopped because we have managed to supply some villages, but others not yet. We are still on the way. What kind of integrity is this? What is integrity, Burkina Faso? What is it? This lack of support has deeply unsettled and revolted us. Until we truly address the core issues plaguing this country, we will remain in a state of unrest and discontent. For the moment, we've managed to secure some trucks in the army and have been using our own means to transport supplies. However, this hasn't really added much to the support for the starving populations. And even in doing this, there's been a distinct lack of empathy. The citizens were aware of the situation, but they've remained on the sidelines. This is to say that solidarity has disappeared in Burkina. Have pity for the people, have pity for the youth, have pity for the children. What have these villagers done so that when the sun sets, they find themselves in caves and under trees? They sleep in the bush. They cannot sleep in their homes. We don't tell you these truths. This is the reality of Burkina. We only see our cities. We are responsible for what happens to us, and we will be fully responsible for what will follow, whether it is good or bad. Now, I'm going to show you real quick the youth when I tell you say. I him do the review on the video and him did also I say some things in the last part of the video when we think we can learn from seeing see me so I urge so our African leaders to follow the full step of Ibrahim Traoré because we all know, you know, uh, recently some of the African countries were protesting against their leaders, against corruption, against high cost of living. For example, here in Kenya, the other day we were protesting because our president, he was not listening to, to the citizen, to the people, because he visited a uh, United States and when after him uh, coming back in the country he came with the huge uh, he came and uh, he wanted to propose a finance bill which he has introduced more tax in the finance bill so the people were protesting because we have seen our uh, our president he, he want he was becoming a puppet from outside he was being controlled from outside the same way in uganda also they were protesting because the leaders were being involved in uh, corruption and also the same way in nigeria in nigeria they were protesting against their government because of high cost of living and also because of the uh, corruption in the country yeah, the man said, then president a puppet he was being controlled from which part the outside and the man introduced a new bill and they did what? What again? Protest. You know why Africans still protest? Because guess what? Even though the world gets so technological, believe it or not, you have people in Africa who say all the iPhone like a house in terms of blood clad cast. So a lot of people don't have no real phone where they can live on social media. So social media can have the power to pacify them and leave them in a constant state of dormancy. Remember that. And notice him name out Uganda, him name out Nigeria, and him also state the facts that them did a protest too. Because them leaders in a corruption, them leaders in a this, them leaders in a that. And what did they do? They protest. We Jamaicans don't protest for shit these days. I'm going to tell you when they protest in a comment section when people are telling us to do better. That's when Jamaicans protest. Real protest, them tell you about your mama because you attack some real fucking thing. And just to tell you that we know some of the colonizers, they have not yet lived South African nation the same way they have not yet lived a uh, Caribbean nation. For example, in Jamaica, we have seen that Jamaica it is not yet fully independent. You can go and see the head. Uh, of the state is the as uh, they are still British colonizers and also 
up to day Jamaicans some of the Jamaicans they are suffering because of the colonizers they don't want to leave uh, Jamaica to be independent the colonizers they are still ruling Jamaica the colonizers they are still uh, being controlled majority of the things in Jamaica and that's why Jamaicans they are being oppressed Jamaicans they are behind a little behind in the uh, development but for me I can tell you that it is now the right time for the Jamaicans to wake up and try to acquire full independence so that we can see Jamaica it can so that Jamaicans you can, you need to acquire to your country to be a republic you need uh, to abolish the colonizers because the colonizer if you did if you do, if you are not going to stand by your two feet and just to tell you that we know some of the colonizers they have not yet lived South African nation the same way they have not yet lived uh, Caribbean nation for example in Jamaica we have seen that Jamaica it is not yet full independent you can go and see the head uh, of the state is the as uh, they are still British colonizers and also up to day Jamaicans some of the Jamaicans they are suffering because of the colonizers they don't want to leave uh, Jamaica to be independent the colonizers they are still ruling Jamaica the colonizers they are still uh, being controlled majority of the things in Jamaica and that's why Jamaicans they are being oppressed Jamaicans they are behind a little behind in the uh, development but for me I can tell you that it is now the right time for the Jamaicans to wake up and try to acquire full independence so that we can see Jamaica it can so that Jamaicans you can you need to acquire to your country to be a republic you need uh, to abolish the colonizers because the colonizer if you did if you do, if you are not going to stand by your two feet so that you can remove these colonizers uh, Jamaicans will be still being oppressed the colonizers they are still benefiting from your country because these colonizers they are the ones who are selling out your country so Baba says the colonizers are still benefiting from our country the biggest colonizer bad bro we not only have the major colonizer which is the Englands and the Americas you know one of the main colonizers of Jamaica is the politician them. I know he colonizers themselves with airport, with cement company, two road they all about to Jamaica and benefit from. Did our primary colonizers do that? No, they didn't. They didn't. Who sell out the country? Who signed to the fuck them we are going? Who sit down when them should have stood up? The colonizers? No. A which colonizer? I try to sell out the whole cockpit country. I will sell the whole island to the blood clad Chinese them. Are the primary colonizers? No. These fucking jacket and time motherfuckers we call themselves politicians are the biggest colonizers of Jamaica. That me I tell you. And even though the primary colonizers them are sell to, they didn't have to. So which one worse? The one who should have defend the country or the one who buy out the country? The colonizers they are selling uh, your country to the my, to the foreigners and that's why we have seen we have a lot of uh, uh, foreigners coming in Jamaica they are becoming successful successfully they are uh, buying lands they are building a hotel in Jamaica while the Jamaican government it is there so for me I can tell I cannot blame Jamaican government I cannot blame the Prime Minister it is uh, the colonizers who are doing all this. A we Africa demand. We are Africa demand. They are Sisse. Jamaica one of the biggest bomb buckler sell out on the face of the earth. Yeah. Jamaica was the most important and one of the godliest country on earth. And overnight we have become one of the most ungodly, immoral country on earth. You know what tell me what that time? Hmm? This man stay where African say, oh, Jamaica get a blood clot backers. I'm glad I never in a way. The rust clot backers Jamaica can get because guess what? Them zoning pan we have made sure that social media was implemented for fuck way. Right up. There was no regulation as it relates to social media. Our like a weak government always just accept and move on. Anything the bomb buckler and mouse say. 
and them that are kiss ass because guess what? The little crumbs where them are hustle is okay. Because by Jamaica standards, that's a lot of money. The billions that we are making is dollar compared to what the colonizers are making. But trust me, while we slave them, we love the dollar where we are making. So we take the dollar and give the billions. That's the mentality of our leaders. And don't get me wrong. Do not think it is easy or overnight. Andrew, for example, because he's the prime minister now, could I get to where Burkina Faso there in terms of a mentality and a mind frame. You have to set out a whole thing in order to do what them do a Burkina Faso. And I just get the man, I get up and decide the man say, who run them. Them did have to set up something in place in order for can do that. Them did have to know, say, all right, if we are trade with them for care, we have to go trade for care somewhere else. Them set up all of that before them tell them boy they got suck them on that. All of that set up. Guess what? Our government would never. They have no balls. If you strip the whole line of bumble clad parliament, they have beer pussy. No balls. Everybody in that blood clad week on both sides. Them not stand up for shit. Them bow at any given time. As long as they're getting paid to bow, them are right. The man also said, Jamaicans are being oppressed because of the colonizers and the this and the that and, and beer thing. And trust me, I'm right in so many ways. But the worst thing happened to Jamaica are Jamaicans. Me not seen a chain for nobody. You know which part of the chain there? In a them fucking brain. We could have get rid of the colonizers a long time if we were interested. There's no colonizer on the face of the earth here who can operate without the people's permission. Just try and know that. If there's no people, there's no colony. It doesn't make sense. Because for a colony, for any colony, on the face of the earth, if it thrive, it has to take manpower. No colony can build itself. They need slaves. And guess what? They're willing to fucking slaves. How can a country was so enamored with the slave master from them time that till now ever lick out upon slavery? Because getting rid of the colonizers, that's what you're asking them to do. And they have been in love with these colonizers from the day they born till now. How do they get rid of that mentality? I mean, I thought majority, because all of are really a real soldier from the back of the field. But how do we get rid of this mindset where we lead as Rome free and them can do no wrong? How we get rid of that? If this government was about the people, they would have see river and fix the situation there. You hear that? They would have apologized for what they do to the people in the Tivoli Garden if they were about the fucking people. They're not. I'm going to tell you who worse than the politician. The people. These weak motherfuckers who curse you when you do the right, when you sell the right, when you stand up for them. They have become so accustomed to them Stockholm Syndrome, madly in love with them oppressor. Only worse than the politician. Worse than the politician when I biggest fucking scum of the earth. Believe it or not, the colonizers come last as it relates to Jamaica or even the Caribbean's oppression. Because people who oppress them own worse than the people who oppress them feed with.